Hey guys, what is going on? Fishing Plague here. Today we're going to be talking about why bass are being so finicky in the current state of Kentucky or any state with this current water temperature. So stay tuned. So today we're going to be talking about a few baits that I would be using around this time. Um, right now the air temperature is like sometimes 48 degrees, low 42, uh, sometimes uh, 45, low 38, uh, high possibly within this kind of temperature. Uh, we could probably get in the 60s. Um, but it's not really exactly happening. It happened for like three days and that was before all the flooding happened. Uh, here in Kentucky, Indiana, and a couple other states locally. Um, but Lake Cumberland is the lake that I'm going to be talking about for a few videos until after April because we have regionals for the high school uh, KHSAA tournament, FLW mix. Um, it's the high school tournament there. It's going to be April 28th. But anyway, the average above sea level level of foot for Lake Cumberland is, I believe, 680. Right now, we're at 730, we're like 50 above, and the current water temperature, surface water temperature, is 48 degrees. So, bass don't start spawning until around 60 degree temp uh, water temperature. Um, like I said, when it was in the 60s, the couple, three days, uh, they should have been started spawning. but. The water rose because of rain, and it got cold, so water temperature dropped. So bass are smart. They're not dumb. Even though they got brains like that, like a raisin, they're really smart. They know the water's too high, so they're not going to bed. And when the water drains, their beds are still, you know, on the bank. And the water temperature is way too cold for them. So right now, they're uh, suspending about 30 foot deep when you're in 60 foot. Uh, if you're in 40 foot, they're about 30 um, they could be on the bottom, so uh, we're going to talk about a couple baits of what you should be using around this time. Bass are going to be really hard to buy right now in this kind of area, so I hope this really helps people out there that are dealing with flooded waters that are super cold. So, alright, bait number one, we're going to start off with the drop shot. Drop shot is my number one go-to on a spinning combo, it's all I throw in a spinning combo. Um, I'm going to start getting the shaky heads. Uh, drop shots, I'll, sh I'll throw uh, mainly a Morning Dawn Robo Worm. Morning Dawn's my favorite color. Or I'll do the, uh, the Reflective Shad color. Uh, those are my two go-to baits. Uh, Morning Dawn got me to 21st place out of 186 last year at Regionals. So I did really good. Um, I'm hoping it should be just getting into the 60s degrees permanently around tournaments. So if they're betting, it might be a little different, so I might not use the bait again. Uh, bait number two, I mentioned it, it's a shaky head or a wobble head if you want to use like a uh, Texas rig a creature bait, like a brush hog or a crawl or a beaver. Um, lizards, I don't use lizards, but I heard a lot of people having good luck out here with them. Um, shaky heads, I'll throw the uh, uh, the Netbait T-Mac or the Z-Bait Company, the uh, Bamboo Bomber or the Squirrel Tail wow, Worm. Uh, I'll throw those on uh, shaky heads and wobble heads. Uh, those are always my perfect baits to go with. Uh, bait number three, uh, red crawl, red crawl crankbaits, lipless, square build, deep diving. Those are always going to kill around spawning time. Uh, pre spawn spawning, red crawl is always going to be a good color. Um, other colors of crankbaits you could use would be like chartreuse, sexy shad. Uh, Shad color, uh, you can do regular craw, green craw, uh, baby bass, bluegill, anything that imitates craws, bait fish, or anything that targets eggs and nests. Uh, or bait that usually schools down deep uh, where small mouth and large mouth are going to hit. Red craw, mainly you have good luck on Lake Cumberland. Uh, for small mouth, they really hit it a lot. 
Uh, bait number four, we're going to go with jerk baits. I usually use uh, jerk baits, anything by Strike King. Um, I don't use anything else. They don't really have like the kind of style I like. Um, I'll use a regular shad color, yellow belly. I'll use a, uh, a purple one that has a little chartreuse in it. Or I'll use a, uh, a blue one that has orange and chartreuse. Something that gives off a lot of color. Um, I know Lucky Craft Slender Pointers I've been using a little bit. They're, uh, they're neat, but they're not as good as I would expect because they're more expensive. Uh, it's like a $25 uh, jerkbait compared to a $8, $9 crankbait, $12 crankbait. Um, the deepest I'll go is I'll jerk about 9 foot suspending. I'll jerk uh, 12 foot suspending. I really don't go any deeper. If I go deeper, I'll switch to a deep diving crankbait or a lipless. Lipless, lipless are always good, like I said. Um, I think we're on five or six. I'm not sure where we're at right here. Um, I would go with jigs, uh, flipping jigs, uh, finesse jigs. Those are the kind of jigs I'll use. Uh, right now, the jigs I've been using like crazy is the Bico jigs. Uh, their link is down below if you guys want to check out their social media on their website. Um, I'll pair up the jigs with a, uh, a net bait baby pocket crawl. Baby pocket crawls are my favorite uh, crawl, crawl uh, soft bait. I'll use those on anything that I need to crawl for. Uh, it's hollow. They're really dependable and they have a lot of color variety. Uh, net bait is kind of one of my favorite soft pla uh, plastic companies. Another bait that you can use is a swim jig. Uh, swim jigs, I don't really know what kind of trailers I put on them. I mainly just throw a uh, Zoom Super Fluke on it. Um, I really don't know of any good soft plastic companies that make trailers. Like I'll, I'll use like Zoom Grubs or the, the Flukes. Um, I really don't, I don't use swim jigs, but I really want to find a good soft plastic company. So if you guys know of a good swim bait company that makes soft plastic swim baits like for trailers or regular swim baits, uh, leave a comment down below and uh, I'll buy some and if you guys, I don't know, if I buy the, the company you pick and the uh, kind of colors, I might send you some be like, hey, thanks for the advice, here's a few packages. So that's something to think about if you guys want to get some free baits. Um, Another bait you guys can use is a spinner bait. Spinner baits I usually key in on War Eagle, or I'll use uh, if I use Buzz Bait and they're up shallow, um, I'll use the uh, Legend Bait Swim Buzz. Um, if you guys don't know what the Legend Bait Swim Buzz is, that is a legendary killer Buzz Bait. Just ask Fish and NWI or the Real Max Stall. Um, he'll probably comment down here below somewhere soon. So uh, if you guys want to ask him how uh, him and him and I's tournament went on Cook Lake. Um, he knows the swim buzz pretty well. I don't know guys, I think he's got me beat by a little bit. <laughs> so it was probably like 50 degree, I think it was 50 degrees outside or at least like low 60s. Water temperature was about like 50, 54, somewhere around there. And uh, you had the concrete wall and then a little bit in between it, there was like about three foot, four foot gap of nothing. And then there was high grass through the swim buzz up in there against the wall. Cranked it over that little edge where there's no grass. Man, bass killed it. Killed it. If you enjoyed this video and this helped you, leave a like. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. I'll be posting as much as possible as I can. Uh, we got new jerseys coming in soon. This is last year's. Um, we got new jackets that already have. Um, I've already fished Lake Cumberland, that's why I'm making this video, because I feel like it should help other people, because it would have helped me back then, when I was fishing Sunday. Also, if you guys like the new intro, man, go look at that intro video, leave a like, I, I'm proud of it. But like I said guys, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you, um, mainly this video was targeting audience for uh, people who fish fl recently flooded waters, or waters that drastically drop temperature. Um, or waters that were spawning but dropped temperature and now they're not spawning. So I hope this video helps someone out there. Uh, it's some really vital information. Uh, qualities of videos don't matter. It's the information that matters. Uh, you can watch anyone as long as you learn something. That's the main point of watching videos on YouTube. But like I said, I'm Fishing Plague, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys get the Fishing Plague, and I'll catch you on the next one.